Hi guys, it's Wendy from Finger Sticks Gallery again. So I've got a new camera or a new um, lighting angle, which I hate, but I'm trying something a little bit different because I, I don't know what else to do with the room that I have and the lights that I'm using. So forgive me if it's terrible. I'm just trying something new. So the last painting that I did was a Julie, it was Julie inspired, who Julie is an online friend of mine. And she wanted some of these other colors. In fact, I'm gonna plug in that other light. Give me one second. Okay, so she wanted uh, rust, dark green, dark purple, gunmetal gray. Uh, she wanted like a dark painting. So this is what I got and it turned out so cool. So it was a ring pour, but I've got these little cells pop it up. And this down here is a totally different texture. So there's a few textures going on, which is kind of neat. So although the purple and green got lost, they just went poof, magic disappeared. So we're going to do these almost exactly the same. So I'm going to do, um, well, I don't know what order I'm going to do yet. I'm going to think about it for a second, but we're going to do a ring pour. So we're going to do a set of three. And I don't have any like gunmetal gray type colors. I was going to do just black and white and make gray, but not feeling it. So I'm using this color shift. It's kind of pretty. It's like a black, but it's kind of a coppery goldy kind of color. And then this, all I did was mix equal parts of the folk art metallic antique copper and basic run of the mill uh, primary red. That's that's what I mixed in here to get that rusty color. And then intermittently, I'm going to mix this cream in to the cups. So I think I'm going to start, well, maybe I'll do green and purple on the outsides. Do the rust color in the middle and the, I guess we'll do, um, equal shots of this color shift and then equal shots. Oh, wait a minute. Equal shots of the color shift and black with the cream, only a little bit of cream because she wants it darker. So I'm just using her for inspiration on, on this painting. So if I do, if I go actually do it in a way I can actually pick them up. If I go, purple, black, a little bit of cream, and then just repeat that process. So I'm only, um, on the cream, I'm adding just a smidgen less than the other colors if I can. Just a little tiny bit less. I don't want it to be overwhelming. Oops, that was a bunch of purple. Okay. So that's probably good on that one. And then do, maybe I'll do the gunmetal, the rust, and the cream in the center, and then the black. I don't know, we'll figure it out when I get there. <laughs> so, or excuse me, not gunmetal, it's the color shift. And I haven't done this before, not with these dark colors. I mean, I've done this technique. Well, let me step that back a little bit. I've done ring pours before. I will have to go back and see if I've actually done three ring pours like this before. I think I've done this. Oh man, maybe a long, long time ago. I don't think I have a video on it, but maybe I did this like at the very, very beginning. So I apologize, folks. Maybe I actually have done something similar to this before. 
But as you guys know, I like to do new things. So I think I've done it before. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, I think on this one, we'll do the same as the end. So we'll go green, black cream, green, black cream, I, ju I just started using these little squirt bottles, the condiment bottles, and I'm, <laughs> I'm still getting the feel for it. I'm still wanting to like squeeze them like I do a mustard or ketchup bottle. It's probably not great. Not a great idea. And then one little dash of cream. Okay. Okay, so I am going to prep the canvas. I'm going to prep it with, oh, probably just, just black. And then in between the stripes, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do the black. I would sure love to hear from people. So if you, um, if you're on Facebook, I have a Facebook page, the finger sticks gallery, um, or finger sticks gallery, not the, and sticks is S T I X. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing the black on the background, because if any of the black wants to pop up through the other colors, it's a complementary color to the rest of the colors. So as opposed to doing white, a lot of people prep their canvas with white and you wonder why you get those little stars. Well, that's why, because the background color, if there's any bubbles, will tend to pop up and say hello just when you don't want them to. Okay. So actually, I think on my last video, I was going to do cream and can't remember my thought process if I just completely forgot or it just didn't look right or I didn't think it would look right. So I, to be honest, I probably just forgot. Okay. So maybe if I can judge this, maybe I will do just a little bit just to kind of split these up slightly. There we go. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. I'm actually going to turn it a little bit because I have an easier time, I think, doing it this way. So here we go. Okay, and I'm not going to do anything with them yet. I'm going to tip them all at the exact same time. Keep in mind your tail. If you catch your tail like he, I'm not, I don't like him. You're going to see that it's going to be very obvious your little ending part right there. So just kind of keep that in mind. And if you can use little plastic cups or paper cups, you can make a little spout on them and it works so much better. These ones are plastic. I like to wash them out and reuse them.
Ooh, that one's going to be pretty. Okie dokie. So this is the part that always gets me a little bit nervous because I want to keep um, the colors. Ah, my stick's bent. I want to keep the colors as much on the canvas as I possibly can. Just walk everybody down. Lock everybody back up. Oh, there's cool little, um, from the bubbles, there's cool little cells coming up and they look like eyeballs. So, oh, I forgot to tell you my mix. So the mix, um, is just paint and Floetrol. There's no water or no silicone, no other additives, no other, nothing other than paint and Floetrol. Um, I made them a little bit thicker thicker than I normally would. So my normal mix is approximately, help him out. Um, I don't know, usually on a normal day, depending on what I'm doing, it's 50 or um, about 25% paint, 75% Floetrol, or roughly speaking, a third paint and two thirds Floetrol. Um, but because it's so bloody hot, it's probably it's probably pushing 85 degrees in my studio today. So I probably did more like a 50, 50 mix because it is freaking hot in here. So I was just worried that the paint was going to um, thin up a lot. And I think it, it does a little bit when it's hot. So Oh man, I, there's an eyeball looking thing right at the corner of the purple. Oh, I'm going to lose him. Yep, he's goner. So the green is really obvious. You can definitely tell that little tail issue that I was telling you guys, I was just saying that it's going to be really obvious if you have a tail that's kind of sloppy and kind of goofy, not honestly a whole heck of a lot you can do about it when it's already on there. Okay. I think check my corners. I think I'm going to leave him just like that. I am going to torch it. Man, those colors actually look kind of cool together. All right. Ooh, almost did a balloon smash. My balloon almost fell right smack in the middle of the paint. Coordination may be terrible, but I'll tell you what, I've got some fast reflexes. Okay, so that brought up a whole bunch of little cells that I wasn't too excited about, but to be honest, I would much rather have some little oddball little cells that come up than have um, a rough, bumpy texture when your painting is dried. So I'm going to pull you guys in for a close up in a second. So if you get motion sickness, you might want to look away. All right, so there's the purple. It will dry a little bit darker. And then that rusty color with the color, or the, um, yeah, the color shift and the metallic copper. And then the green. So, yeah, it turned out really cool. I'm excited for this one. So we're going to see how it dries. Um, hopefully I will not have a bug crawl across this one like I did my last one. Um, Anyway, folks, hope everybody's having a great summer and staying safe. And please, guys, comment below. Let me know what you want me to see. I have an idea for my next video that I've never, ever done before, which if you've seen me before, you know I like to try new things. Um, so we will see if I can pull it off. So anyway, folks, uh, feel free to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications on my new videos. And until next time, you will see me soon.